Hey explorers, a special welcome back to our elite cadre of subscribers. Today we're taking you to an epic adventure through Key West, but hold up, this isn't your typical tourist trap tour. We're also diving deep into the quirky offbeat side of this island paradise, with some incredible stops along the way. And speaking of paradise, we're kicking things off at our favorite spot to stay, Eden House Hotel on Fleming Street. Tucked away in the heart of Old Town, Eden House is our home base. This isn't just a hotel, it's an oasis. Think lush gardens, hammocks, swaying in the breeze, and a pool that practically begs you to take a dip, particularly during the outdoor bar's happy hour. It's the perfect place to unwind before our whirlwind adventure begins. First stop, Truman's Little White House. Now I know what you're thinking, a presidential museum? But trust me, this isn't your average history lesson. This place is steeped in quirky Key West charm, where you can almost hear the echoes of the 1940s political banter going around the actual libo. Plus, it's way cooler than waiting in line just snapping a pic at the southernmost point. Walking through this lush estate is like stepping back in time when Key West was the Winter White House. All right, it wouldn't be Key West without visiting mile marker zero, because what better way to say I've arrived than at the end of the road, literally. Deluxe Oceanfront Rooms. Unless there's one of these guys parked on it. Next, we're heading to Mallory Square. It's known for its sunset celebrations complete with fire dancers and live music. In the middle of the day, especially in June, it's much warmer and less crowded. Ever wanted to be a treasure hunter? Well, the Shipwreck Museum is the next best thing. Mike and Vicky, one foot below sea level. Seems unwise on an island. Climbing the observation tower is a must for those killer views of the island and the history here. So here, the, facing this way, is the Atlantic Ocean. Looks like an island. It's on the other side. Ah. Is this Duval Street? For the purposes of this video, it is. This is Duval Street. This video is not meant to be used for navigation. <laughs> then over here, we've got Fort something. Fort Zachary Taylor. Fort Zachary Taylor. And then we have a here with the Carnival cruise ship, but then there's Sunset Key in the Gulf of Mexico. They used to average a wreck a week, and it was prime driver in the island's economy. I don't know anywhere else in the world that can say that. Now, no Key West visit is complete without a drink at Captain Tony's, the OG Sloppy Joe's. This place is dripping with history, just like its ceiling is dripping with dollar bills. You even might catch a glimpse of Hemingway's ghost. It's haunted. Or at least feel like it after a few drinks. We rate their mojito among the best we've ever had. And speaking of Hemingway, you've got to pay respects at the current Sloppy Joe's, his favorite hangout. This place is as lively as ever, and whether you're here for the music, the drinks, or just the vibe, it's an experience you won't forget. You need to try their signature dish, although I forget the name at the moment. Duval Street, where every step is an adventure. It's a mix of wild nightlife, quirky shops, and a dash of pure Key West magic. Just don't forget to look up, you might spot something you'd never expect. Next, we're raising a glass at the Hemingway Rum Company, home of Papa's Pilar Rums. Whether you're a rum connoisseur or just here for the cool stories, this place is a tribute to the man, the myth, the legend himself. Our only disappointment was that they didn't have any of their specialty rums, only their basic light and dark varietals. Okay. So this part has its own video, but we couldn't resist giving you a sneak peek at the Dry Tortugas National Park. Think remote island, historic fort, and pleasant snorkeling. There's a link to the video in the description. For dinner with a view, it doesn't get better than latitudes on Sunset Key. Picture this, a golden sunset, waves lapping on the shore, and a cocktail in hand. Yeah, it's as dreamy as it sounds. We even figured out how the island got its name. Nothing gets past us. For another unforgettable dinner, we're hitting up Grand Café on Duval. The food, incredible. The ambiance, perfectly Key West. It's the kind of place where you want to linger just a little bit longer. And of course, you've got to start your mornings right at Harpoon Harry's. This classic diner serves up breakfast that will fuel you up for the whole day. Trust us, you'll need it. To wind down, we love a leisurely stroll through the North Harbor area. It's a perfect spot to soak up the island's laid back vibe, check out the boats, and maybe even book your next adventure. But if you're looking for a thrill, diving on the Vandenberg Wreck is where it's at. This sunken giant is like an underwater museum, 
complete with massive radar dishes and even some Russian lettering left over from when it starred in the movie Contagion before its final plunge. So what makes Key West different from any other city in the US? Maybe it's the mix of history, adventure, and pure unfiltered exuberance. Think New Orleans French Quarter without all the urine. Or maybe it's just that Key West marches to the beat of its own drum. And we're here for it. Thanks for coming along on this adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss our next video. And until next time, keep wandering, my friends. Thanks for watching.